Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 5 of the Dragon's Den. I am your host, Dragon's Fury, aka Show, aka Shadow, and by this point you know I got a lot of names. Uh, with me again, we got the Infernal. Say hi. Hi, I'm surprised I'm still a lot on the show. I, uh, well, you know. <laughs> yeah okay um <laughs> review ep- other episodes and then you'd be the judge uh should we boot him um if so i need a new co-host um taking applications via reddit <laughs> even, hey even if they try to get rid of me i'm a bitch to get away i was like oh, can't get rid of me that easy um also it's more work to try to get rid of you than just to keep you around let's be real um that being said, uh, we hope you are having a good week. Uh, the time of this recording is actually the beginning of the week, so hopefully you've gone through the rest of the week to when this hope goes live. We all live. had a good Monday. Uh, good uh, Monday to uh, where well, we're coming off of Valentine's Day. We're coming off the of Super Bowl. So hopefully, if you are any of those fans of those things, and even if you are on the losing side, I feel like that game was still good and worth the watch. So yeah. Plus the uh, Super Smash Brothers uh, halftime show. Yeah, you know. So oh, yeah. it it's relevant, everyone's included, and we should all just rejoice, right? Good? Okay, cool. So we're just going to just hop right on into it as I do with this foo. Um, again, I told him ahead of time, I don't know how much prep he put into it. So we'll see what happens. And we're just going to yeah, kick... you know, I like to wing it. <laughs> we're going to kick it off with the topic that we were just talking about uh, before we started because I, well, ADD reasons, and is uh, gaming company fuck-ups. And that spans between anything. That could be the PR side of, like, big scandals and all things for, like, you know, like Blizzard or whatever, uh, practices such as, like, EA and their shenanigans. Shit, even Microsoft, let's be real. Like, they <laughs> they getting grubby, too. Um, anything uh, with... Uh, you know you got sony how they think so this is an all-encompassing topic for us to rant about uh today and yeah we're, we're gonna kick it into uh prime gaming um it's not necessarily amazon's fault per se it's but i do feel like they have a good say in what happens with it they do, but the problem I have is more so of the people providing it. So, if you don't know what uh, Prime Gaming is, how is really the question. But if you are too young to know and you don't have adult money or big boy money or big girl money or whatever in between money, it's or money in general or money in general. Let's be real. Yeah, you you right. Um, it's uh the excessive thing because what was it It was twitch it was twitch prime right yes it was originally twitch prime yeah it was twitch prime amazon got its hands on it so now it's prime gaming um where essentially if you have the prime service through amazon or through twitch back then you get bonuses on various games uh every month or so um these various games will give you like different little bonus and drops and mainly cosmetic or like resourcey kind of stuff so like you know skins or ornaments or uh xp boosts stuff like that usually is what are in these and then later on they started giving um games like you'll be able to get you know games usually they're kind of like uh indie developer games indie developer yeah those kind of things uh, and then with like an occasional like big one like this go round um morrowind is available oh, that's right. so for my elder scrolls people that's the third game uh, a lot where uh, most of us joined on the bandwagon for elder scrolls was morrowind um unlike myself i joined in much later uh for skyrim um elder scrolls 4 and so it's like you know it's it's later things but the problem the problem that i have with it is that a lot of these games um are giving things that otherwise would be available to you uh in a different fashion if you were playing the game 
or at least the games that I claim. Um, you would get these things like in other fashions for like uh, League of Legends, like their Legends of Ruterra. That stuff, um, it's very cosmetic. You can get it from just playing the game. Like you will get what they give easily. So it's like I'm paying this extra money for bonuses for a free game. And I'm not really getting any bonus. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, one another example is um, Destiny. Because um, their prime gaming stuff is a lot of the stuff from, like, obviously, it's Eververse, or majority of the time, it's all the old emotes or ships, sparrows, whatever. Ones that, if you've been playing for a while, you will already have earned it. Or if you really want it, you would have just bought it yourself. Yeah. So it's like... Uh, now you know playing devil's advocate for all of a hot second it does allow new players to come in and kind of get i wouldn't necessarily say a boost per se well uh, for the exotic it, weapons it, it gives you a little like even playing ground with the updated stuff but the thing is is that it's a lot of it's been repeating because let's be real how many times has sunshot come through uh Two or three. Sturm, Sturm has come in a couple times. Like I, I know I have duplicates on Duke. I know Hard Light came through like four oh, or five yeah. times. <laughs> like I have, I just have the whole library full of this stuff because I haven't claimed it because I already have it and it's not a bonus version of it or anything. It's not like yeah. a <laughs> Man, higher role. Still waiting for you. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like oh, you know, give me a better role on the weapon like that would have been fine it's like okay you know some kind of bonuses whatever of your partnership with this other service that i didn't necessarily get for the games i got it for other reasons like for shopping and say but in reality i did get the account because of gaming like it was for twitch this was back when we were up and coming on twitch or at least when we were trying to be up and coming on twitch let's be real we never popped off like we wanted to but it yeah. is what it is that being said I feel like we need a little bit more meaningful things. Um, I feel like you'd be on board with that, as, especially with uh, the Genshin bundles. No, yeah. Like, are they even worth it? Like, are you really getting anything, like, of value out of those? I, I don't know. I, I don't play. And sometimes... Okay. Technically, no. Because... Let me actually pull it up real quick. Because I actually just claimed uh, the current one, which... For anyone that plays Genshin, uh, Fragile Resin basically allows you to get a little more, I guess you can say, stamina, so you can actually continue farming stuff that you're working on, which, I mean, I have my own complaint about having a stamina system, but I, they have to put it in there so some people don't, I guess, grind too much. I'm just like, but it's a grindy game, what do you expect? Um, but yeah, so it's like, and then... I don't remember. I think it was like less than a hundred uh, primo gems, which is the in-game currency to wish. And to do one wish, you need 180 just by itself. Uh, no, 160. Got my, got my math wrong. Um, so it's like technically you don't even get enough for like a single wish. So yeah, no, the prime gaming is not really worth it in the long run. I mean, yeah, it's nice to get it since it's a material that, if you've been playing Genshin for a while, it relatively is harder to farm just because you've already farmed it, all of them. But yeah, now the Prime Gaming, like, if it had offered enough for one to five wishes, I feel like that would be more rewarding to have Prime Gaming for Genshin specifically. Yeah, so, you know, that, I would chalk that one up to being, you know, the fuck up like how how are you supposed to like give this thing that is essentially an incentivization or like a a thank you if you will of having the multiple hands in the pot if you will because you have this service as well as you're you know providing to the game itself who knows but so uh I have the gta uh lowering their uh, prime game from a million to five hundred thousand see i think that was more <laughs> of a they broke their own economy on accident it's already broken on pc <laughs> okay i understand but 
let's be real, it wasn't for PC, it was for the consoles. They're, they're money grubbing because obviously we haven't. GTA 5 has been out for how long? <laughs> uh, 2013 is when it came out. So they've been milking this game for 10 years. Yeah. And they still are. And then, like, I've heard, uh, I didn't look into it that much because I don't care, um, that they're stopping support. But I swear that comes up, like, every two years or so, that they're stopping support for GTA V. That they're well, no are they supporting stopping, GTA V. Are they stopping support all the, like all together or specifically on the older consoles? Because keep in mind, GTA V was on the 360, PS4, the Xbox One, PS, uh, PS4 words god damn it pretty much it's been on three generation of consoles i couldn't tell you um the now the thing is there is not support like for a game but like when it's like a 360 no one's supporting online thing for that anymore like microsoft isn't even supporting that anymore that's different like i just feel like every two years before we had the next gen of consoles yet to come out they were like oh GTA 5 is going uh going away or online's going away or whatever is going on. and it just never does. Uh, yeah, cuz GTA 5 online makes them so much funny. So so that's what I'm saying. Like is it a ploy or they're just like getting people riled up and they're like, "Oh, let me get back before it's gone or whatever." They make more money because now you got more people logging in, this that, they're doing transactions blah blah, blah whatever may have you is how they make their money. I do it, feel like it is kind of a marketing stunt. Like, because whenever someone hears, it's like, oh, this game is going to be going away. It's like, you try to get in as many hours as you can before it shuts down. And we're just playing over it. And that's just fucked up. Yep. Like, come on. Um, that, and so, but with the million dollar thing, being, I really think that it just broke its regular economy. Because now you don't have to play, like, actually play. You literally just had to log in every four times a month and you would get a million dollars by the end of it. And for anyone who hasn't been in GTA 5 or ever cared to play GTA 5, for the most part, a million dollars can make you get very far in the game, especially for not being in the toxic community of it. Yeah. Um, that, that's, that's, it's chump change to anyone who's playing actively, but and it is serious. Oh yeah, multiple businesses. But it's also <laughs> serious money for someone who's like, hey, I just kind of casually come in, maybe do a race or two or whatever. They do that four days <laughs> out of a month. And then they're, they're making bank of what would take three to four hours for someone else to make via their other methods to accumulate and so it's really just one of those like you're not doing much and you're getting more out of it and i think that's what happened when they dropped it down um also they still never fixed that problem of it constantly giving of it paying out more than it should so it would um i don't know if this happened to you but it happened to me every time we were gone for a little bit and i we would come back or for like when we spin the wheel or whatever that it would give me the amount for the for the prime or whatever right Mm -hmm. cool we'd be good then i would come back and say like a couple days later or whatever because you know we're trying to win whatever's on the podium that week and then it would say oh it would take forever for me to try to load in it will then kick me out I would then load back into online for it to say that, you know, oh no, so it, it would tell me that money's been added to my account, and then it would kick me out of online. Then I would have to go back through the standard GTA to get back to online, which was annoying because I didn't play the regular GTA, so I keep getting that intro scene of him talking on the couch. Oh, yeah. And it takes fan start <laughs> and i'm just like oh my god give me i'm tired of looking at this white dude every freaking time i get kicked out and it was happening every time i would log in it was pissing and he's me not off. even good to look at no no he wasn't he was a very likely guy and so i'm like great so i go back on 
and then it would be like, oh, your account's been corrected by the amount that it gave me. And I was like, but why is this still happening? Like, why are you not able to make sure that it's not divvying out the money again to my account, realizing it's messed up, kick and then try to correct it while I'm trying to play the game? Yeah, it's like at that point, just leave it. I was like, it can just give me my money. Give me more money. Um, so, yeah, they really just, like, screwed up hardcore on that. Uh, and so I was like, yo, can can we not? So that's their F up for that one. Now, get a little bit more serious. So, obviously, we all have heard about the Activision Blizzard thing, right? The whole, you know... Yep. Uh, sexual harassment uh, scandals and whatnot. Uh, can someone explain to me why is this happening? And why before... are they like was it a frat boy uh, environment type thing or something? I couldn't tell you. But before, for maybe the four or five people that may listen to this decide they want to step to me and get destroyed verbally, I mean this from a perspective of a gamer. It, so, realistically speaking, most of the people that work at game development agencies or companies are gamers themselves. Safe to say that, at least to some capacity, right? Which of which is mostly males. Not to say females aren't playing games or whatnot, but this was mainly a male hobby thing and that's why they go you know all eight monkey brain every time they find out there's a girl nearby because well let's be real men will do that anyway when there's a girl in any and it's like dude, they just have too much power over the male brain it's weird and so why would you mess up the environment that's allowing you to essentially touch grass on a social scale like, why are you... This is why we can't have nice things. Well, you, you worked all this time of, like, going through the back and forth and, like, the unnecessary negative thing of being a gamer and not, like, being sociable or whatever to literally having a career in something you love. And the other, and the other sex is uncomfortable being there because you're doing some creep shit. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah it's like seriously it's like people like have common sense especially when you're in a work environment it's like yeah it's like yeah if your work environment is mostly male and like some people it's like that's that's one thing but it's like you still have to have like the common decency of being a freaking human yeah, and so um but like of i'm not saying and of course this happens all over the like all over the place like spectrum wise but it's like for something that was so like gung ho on like oh this is like our space or you know social wise i don't know when people get money i guess they just lose their mind they do couldn't I couldn't mean, tell look at look at all the politicians uh they didn't have it to begin with there there is no one that has an argument that will tell me and make me believe that these people are sane when they're like i want to be a politician because oh, yeah, the no. system is rigged and you can't actually change anything within any time frame of your actual tenure. Not going to work. Um, so you believing that you aren't batshit is batshit. <laughs> For example, that was like one, the one in Florida. Um, yeah, the sanitizer? Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we. Uh, someone sent help. Send help for the desanitizer, because uh, he clearly does not know what he's doing, and, um, uh, yeah. But, I digress. Uh, I, <laughs> I would rather have the politics of Skyrim than desanitizer. Yeah. By, it's like, if you want to decide something, trial by sword. Trial by sword. And, like, th that they're literally war-torn. I'd rather deal <laughs> with a war-torn country who has a clan of elves who think they're all high and mighty which essentially is just the congress in this metaphor and 
because they're all old as dirt and are stuck in their ways. So to die. Here, they're just the freaking Thalmer. And so that you have <laughs> they're all blind. And then they're all they're all blind. It, like, it, it works out. Just give it that, and then we just go settle our things. Like you know, if you steal my cow, you owe me another cow or your toe. I don't so, oh, better than what this desanitizer does. Yeah, uh, throwback <laughs> to uh, the intro episode. So if you don't know why toes are significantly triggering, get back there, watch it, listen, oh, listen, because there's no video yet. So yeah, listen. I'm getting ahead of myself. Thinking about the future where there will be videos. Um, especially because we're doing the vlog come March. So that is going to be a thing. I do want yeah, that. I look forward to that. Yeah, that's that's going to be fun. That's going to be really fun. I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. Also, uh, GoPro? At... Yeah, but I'm not going to buy a GoPro just for that, though. Uh, do you know anyone that has a GoPro? No. I don't know. I don't get out. What? I don't know people. Hey, you know more people than I do. Maybe. I don't leave. I don't leave either. You were just stuck with me because we worked together. (laughs) I'm stuck in a cellar. And so it was like, yeah, I don't know. Well, it's it's no worse than uh, what's it uh, what's Leah or whatever? What is her her tag name? I don't know how to pronounce it right. Uh, uh, Lenanya, yeah, and she, she would pick a complicated username uh, as a persona name, um, but I'm just calling her Leah for discussion reasons. But uh, yeah, no, because she, she's a hermit. I have to go and get her if I ever want to do anything with her. Like, yeah, that's true. She, she has to have a car. She well yeah she doesn't have a car but even if she had a car she still wouldn't go anywhere she she literally Everyone. does not like people more than I don't like people um, also she's completely content with an iPad and Minecraft so she's clearly better than both of us that's just what this comes out to be <laughs> um, the, day she, the day she actually gets a uh, good gaming computer uh, no I'm sure she ha- she has one because she she gets the ones from our from her dad when he upgrades never, interesting she never i feel like she never used it when uh like did she use it when we were doing the D stuff at the time because like she was always sending through her phone uh yes but i think she was on her computer for that but i think that was just easier for her because like she didn't have all the like this My thing, the and the thirds and one also if he if he was like in the area too, then they would be like right close to each other. So it would have been a matter of just kind of like a convenience thing, um, mm. of just not being right in the thing. Uh, yeah, but yeah, no, she usually gets his old one when he upgrades, and so it's not like they're crazy old when she uh, got it. So well. what were we talking about? Players. <laughs> How did we get here? Uh, the but uh yeah so what else what else we got on here i think we we covered enough on the on that those things going uh let's see here oh yeah so completely jumping ship off of what we were talking about oh. the uh the theme song theme songs if you uh if you were to have a video game theme song uh, well what would it be and it could be an existing one or anything that you know is, is created that's up, completely up to you oh i need to think about this video game theme song it's funny enough the first thing that comes to mind is like the halo opening yeah i that guess you want to trigger everybody well yeah and well <laughs> it would have a triggering uh the doom one Oh no, that that's a war. That's a war cry. You're like, hey, I'm here, fight me. That is your only option. There is no there's like, well, can we like no, you are going to fight me. That is your only option. Um Obviously mine's gonna be fuck that shit fuck this shit, I'm out. Because literally in every game, 
that I play, no, I don't specific... want to be involved. <laughs> it has specifically the Jack Skellington. The fuck? The fuck? See, that's the if I survive. That that's the uh, so it's the okay. So Jack Skellington's version of the fuck is me going into the situation. Me figuring out that this situation's going south is then it switches to fuck this shit I'm out. Because Me and any Battle Royale will be running the 90s. That was our early days of Battle Royale. Before, when we weren't no, really I, good. I still run like hell. I, I, we don't, I feel like we don't do it. Okay, you probably do it a lot, like, solo, because you just choose to go somewhere isolated and somehow always have to be in the opposite direction. I don't understand that. And also have the storm chasing me non-stop but again i don't understand that i don't have that problem as much anymore we're usually either in the circle or in the zone or literally next to it so we just hop skip and a jump and that's about it i haven't we ha i haven't done a long run in at least 10 to 12 matches which when if you know the frequency of how much we play isn't a lot but like it gets the point across <laughs> yeah uh, so it's definitely that i would the what was it um wait which one was it uh what was it the uh oh rumble when we were still actually doing rumble together it would be deja vu because oh, yeah. just constant respawn like land dead <laughs> i'm just constantly going through um it, that so those those would be mine for that i'm trying to think of what would um was it uh mermaid queen would be don't be suspicious yeah <laughs> and fail at it but like that would be that would be her <laughs> it's burn baby burn that's yours and AGS <laughs> for every time. Like you, you guys have so so many issues that need to be worked out with that. Like there is underlying reasons that you feel the need to set things on fire with I mean, no regard be... of anyone else around you. Well, to be fair, whenever I set something on fire, there's no one there. You just have to move into that area. I'll give you seventy percent of the time. It's that. Because the other 30% of the time, yeah, C for crap. You're full of crap. That's what, that's, what I distinctly remember recently within the last month of you with a flame bow and setting the tree I am standing next to on fire, not spreading fire. I saw the arrow hit the tree I was standing next to. You tried to set me on fire. That was unintentional, because I did not see you there. You still tried to set me on fire. It would be I worse if it was intentional. <laughs> it's still a problem. It would just be I mean, to, worse. To be, to be fair, majority of the things I do are, especially if it's two, one of uh, us in the group, it's most of the time unintentional. Unless you piss me off, then it's going to be intentional. Which makes it worse. Because not only are you not, you know, actively participating in these acts of violence, you are subconsciously partaking in these acts of violence. Which means you're an undercover murderer. And you can't be trusted. Hey. Rule one, Maniac. trust no one. But especially you can't be trusted. Thank you, Stray Kids. Maniac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Imagine being on a podcast with them. Those guys. Oh god. Those guys are hilarious. The yeah, Monster I, I, X, I, XO, any of them. I would love to talk to Rap Monster just for the sake of it. Right. Yeah, River had sent me a um TikTok of I, I don't know which group it was, but it was one of them just being looking like they were on drugs. That's like so it weird. was bad. Sounds like you um, are tweaked out of your mind right now. Yeah, let me see if I can even find it. But uh, while I'm looking, uh, carry on. Uh... Wayward son? I don't know. 
So, Carry so, on my way, so since we're on the topic of music, most triggering music, like what, and not just like the title itself of like what it is, but like scenario music that's most triggering or like scenario or just like any kind of music like game related uh game related like for example like boss music just somehow all of the bosses have the same style of music that you know when that starts you're in trouble any elden ring boss music (laughs) playing elden ring means you accepted trouble i mean maidens i mean life worth it (laughs) essentially yes <laughs> but also you've accepted pain now <laughs> uh, i mean you're not wrong but um the uh what was it it was the it was so it was so aggravating i thought i it... you a text of oh. what was sent to me oh to... that's uh... oh no nah, this can't this can't end well. I'll watch that later. That <laughs> oh, I'm trying to remember the game. I can't. Uh, got what? God, what's the game? Um, any like low health sound? Oh yeah, that. Oh, there we go. Now I've okay. This wasn't the original thing that I was trying to remember, but it, it just tri- literally triggered me. The dying music when your Pokemon is low on health. Oh god! Can yeah. go die in a hole. I, I did not need that level of stress before I even knew what the word stress meant. I it is just. Happening. It is red bar. It's blinking at me. It's louder. I can't hear any. I can't hear the beep of me pressing to attack or heal or to whatever, and then the annoying despair that you feel when you would heal your pokemon back to full but then get smacked again the next turn and you're back in the red and it's just like okay so this is just my life my life is pain apparently every time i'm going against a legendary pretty can suck Mm -mm. specifically terrakion fuck that dog uh yeah no uh what was the it was another one that is triggering is the the sound that uh comes with in sonic uh when you're about to run out of air when you're underwater yeah again another stress inducing environment again i didn't need that in my life like i understand this sound is to give urgency that i need the <laughs> to move active ingredient for life sustainability but also the reason i'm running out of air is because i am stuck i cannot get out i cannot resurface so if you'd be so kind to not make it worse Help on me, me. <laughs> that would be great um the infinity sound for nintendo that can go live in a hole. Star power. Just, no. Uh, because yeah. even if I have it myself, and I'm like, I'm invincible, I am no longer going to feel pain. Because it's still going, and then you just hear it as it's running out, and you're like, oh my god, it's going to run out at the worst time, it's going to run out at the worst time, and it runs out at the worst time. Or... If you were in... Have a blue shell chasing you. Yeah, but see, that is more of an alert sound that is terrible. Yeah, but when you hear that sound, you're like, oh no. It's not even an oh no. Oh no is the alert sound of a red shell. Because that, you still have a chance of stopping. There is no stopping blue. It is death. You will get hit. It is inevitable. You're just prolonging it if you try to escape it, which just makes it hurt more. 
Yeah, so watching those people that managed to outrun a blue shell, because I'm pretty sure they're on like the max CC races, like just watching them outrun a blue shell has to be probably the most stressful situation you can be in. Yeah, and you're watching the video. Yes. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Like, I don't need this level. Of I'd rather go do my taxes for all the forms than watch Ugh. multiple videos of someone outrunning a blue shell. And not just outrunning a blue shell, where the blue shell is just off screen. So you can see the spikes. You see the circle turn into the actual rendering of the item and it's just yeah, constantly yeah. at just spaced enough that is like, oh, sorry. also the sidebar those people like they have no lives i can understand dedicating yourself to something you like but to know exactly how to navigate a track to optimize your speed to hit every turn to go as fast as possible to outrun the one thing designed to not be outran the one thing to stop you <laughs> you say never mind i'm going to keep going away from you is crazy to me also that whole idea of speed running whoever came up with that um either does not find joy in games or are chronic on the edge of needing to pee. Because or, that, that's the mentality. Or, the, I mean, yeah, the, the pee thing is definitely for sure. Or one heck of a, a poop. Um, but also just, I feel like that's where the people that have played the game so many times, they're just like, okay, what is the fastest way I can beat this game? Like, they're just like, they play so many times, like, they know the ins and outs, obviously. And they're just like, you know what? Let's see, let's see, uh, how fast I can do this. But how and do you then... add in game content to in game content with just a, I wonder if? Uh, easy, we do it all the time. Okay, see. Fortnite, for Fortnite balls. I did not need you to call us out like that. <laughs> I knew you were. But I didn't need you to actually do it. Because as soon as I finished the <laughs> sentence, I realized what I was saying and how it no longer was relevant anymore. <laughs> because that line is exactly what I say before I shoot someone from half a mile away that yeah. is a pixel to me on my screen. Is I wonder if... And then I do do the thing. So, yeah, it was just more so I was hoping you would not call me out on my mistake of <laughs> word choice there. And you didn't, so. <laughs> and you didn't let me get away with it, so well, here we are. Yeah, it, that, mm. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Let's see, what else we got on the list here? Uh... Oh, yeah. Now, uh, I remember. So, since we haven't really been talking about Skyrim in full of late, right? This one, um, this one specifically, I'm gonna have to mark the time code because this one goes out to my brother. So, I want you to listen and I want you to weigh in on this. I want you to tell me your thoughts on this question. Um, you know who you are, who I'm talking to. If you don't, then uh, send help. But, because he plays a lot too. The question is, after a full playthrough, and I mean a hardcore playthrough of, mm. this is for the, this, the hardcore play uh, Skyrim players, who has the right to your soul if you were to die? Oh, this question. Yes. And whoever you choose, defend. Mm. I'm never good at this in class. Um, <laughs> oh god, yeah, because like, <laughs> pretty much by the end of the game, you've literally put your soul to 
every one of the Daedric Wards. Even, and also, uh, of course, I uh, can never forget uh, Mr. Tentacle Man himself, the Maze Mora. So, I, I'm going to go about this backwards. I'm going to say who does it. And then, by process of elimination, who I think has the most right to it. Already a fucker. And the the, the effect. So she gets get squat. We we she gets squat. Well, yeah, obviously. But we got to go through first. We got to establish the list of all the people that you typically go whatever. So you have the uh, you have Sovereign Guard, which is as a as the Dragonborn. You have the Night Mother. So oh wait, not Night Mother. Sithis. So you have Sithis being a part of the uh, the Dark Brotherhood. And then you have um, who's the who's the matron for the uh, thieves guild? Um, isn't that the night mother? No, it's oh, what's her name? What's her name? What's her name? What's her name? Oh, nocturnal. No- okay, yeah. So there's nocturnal for the um, thieves guild. You have Meridia, who, uh, as for champion, you have um, who else? Who else is someone that you actually like pledge to? You make um, a deal with Hermaeus. Yeah, you make a deal. Um, if you're if you become a werewolf, you pledge you technically pledge to Hersey. Um, so, yeah, so if, yeah, so if you become a werewolf, you have Hersing, like you said. Um, if you become a vampire, your Is that a Molog? No. Molog it's not two Molog balls specifically. He is the patron of the vampires, but your, um... It's the Soul Cairn. The the rulers of the Soul Cairn uh, are the um, ones who usually take Right. Um who would take certain vampire who ends up taking like certain vampires. But, yeah, other, but I don't think I don't think we ever learned what they were called. So for all intents I yeah. So it would be Moloch so, sorta Moloch because his mace is just because he just wants you to go and fuck shit up. Um but yeah, Moloch uh, is a buggy ass house. For the the vampires um if if you die because of your soul being trapped in into a soul gem and being used then yeah it'd end up in the soul cairn so i'm putting that on the list but that's like completely situational and yeah. then you have um um do we pledge to melacath you can't only because you're not so it's weird with malakath because malakath is supposedly only for the orcs he's the orc god yeah but even if you're an orc yourself you're still not seen as a brother to the other orc clans in skyrim which is weird i feel like if you are that race you should have the affinity to the other factions in the area but that's just me um but yeah so i guess if you were one of the born of malakath you would uh pledge to him as a as a warrior so dying a warrior's death would be the only way for that one so that's again another conditional one uh there's i know there's one more um who's the who was the other trying to pull this all memory i don't i don't think sanguine no he no only because of the fact that with uh barbarous is pretty much done it's it's wrapped up so he's like, hey, can you deal with this nonsense that's happening? And they're like weird sideways. 
sand frame. The people who are involved with vampirism is ridiculous. Yeah. Um, it's definitely not a clavicus vile. Yeah, he doesn't care. Um, he he really doesn't care about orbs. Uh, there's the the one of dreams. Um, it's um, not Azura, is it? No, not Azura. Um, she's for the dark elves. Yeah. She's for the Dark Elves. So, I guess, conditionally, if you were a Dark Elf and you pledged to her, you would have... Um, Varmina? Uh, is it? I had to, I had to double-check. Uh, Varmina, the Prince of Dreams and Nightmares. And Quagmire? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah. So, her, if you do that thing. So, essentially, any Daedric artifact, for the most part... Because uh, there's Mithrunes, but he just, again, he's just like, hey, go and fuck shit up again. Um, yeah. Who? Maria's for the Dawnbreaker. Um, the Ezra Ebony Blade. She, again, just wants it out oh, to go right. fuck shit up. Yeah, because she was locked in a cellar. <laughs> and then um, the Ebony Mail. Yeah, who gives the ebony mail again? I think that you become champion. So ebony mail is like you become the next champion. So that one would be a claim for uh Boethia. So yeah. she you you would become her champion. So saying that we covered everybody. time to work backwards so obviously <laughs> so as the, the obviously the conditional ones are out so any ones that like that are specific to races they're out because it conditional so they they yeah. don't have claim the next out like you said uh meridia because fuck her we don't even want anything to do with her yeah, she like, just it, it... kidnaps you basically like if if you willingly pick up that beacon what's wrong with you you don't know what it is at first we all did well, it yes. once and that's why we know we hate her yes. so we're going along this that that you had you did it once you had to because again you you got to get the artifacts or whatever so but she no claim for her because you didn't want her you did it's just that you were there, you found the thing, and she's like, ooh, fingers touched my thing, and now you Ooh, have yeah. to do my bidding. <laughs> it's like, no! No, no. Um, oh, crap, I'm trying to remember all the people we said. And then... So working back... Next ones that have... I feel like that have, like, uh, valid claim would be the the becoming a nightingale yeah joining the uh so sithis for the brotherhood becoming a nightingale so nocturna then oh we forgot to not finish who akatosh the dragon god he's he's sovereign guard mm. okay so, like, his claim would be you going to Sodom Guard as the Dragonborn. Uh, being, it being birthright. Yeah. Um. Because I feel like that's where some, like, issues come in. Because, like, obviously with Skyrim, we're the Dragonborn. So, it's like... So, yeah. Tet like so, Tet technically, by by birthright, Akatosh has claim. That That's usually yeah. the main argument. Is that... At yeah, by claim it's Akatosh that has that would have claim to this to your soul, as being dragonborn. And now the reason why I have a problem with that is because again it's birthright. I you don't have a choice in it. 
So I don't feel like that's fair to lay claim to something that you didn't have control over. And it's because it's like being like because it's not necessarily like you'd be punished for so whatever, but it's like being punished for being born. Like it's fucked up. Like you ask anybody in that regard, like oh, like is it fair to put this these consequences on this child or being or whatever? due to their parents and the answer is no <laughs> so it being like obviously by birthright being Agatosh, it's yeah i was like okay but like that doesn't seem fair now if you became a dragon priest like a new dragon priest then by all means now it's by choice and then it would be Agatosh again so i the, depending on which one you do, I'm thinking the one that takes it is Sithis. Because you you pledge to serve before and af an afterlife as well. But it the same the same things you would be doing you would do for Nocturna for uh, under sithis so i feel like sithis outranks nocturna because you would you could still defend the sepulcher as a spectral assassin and the thing yeah so i that's who i think wins that i think it's sithis with a side thing of like with you know, with with Nocturna. Yeah, if you went the route of Dark Brotherhood and Thieves Guild. Either of the, yeah, what I'm saying. The, and I say that because with the champions, the champions, once the champion dies, they go and find another one. So, usually those guys don't really care after the fact. It's as long as you're active in the world to spread the influence while you're alive they don't care about you after you're dead so all of those pledges are pretty much done when you die die because you know. now now how would you go about uh sithis and percy if you're a werewolf i if hmm. that one gets tricky because it's the s of how you view yourself as a, a werewolf is is would be the question i pose because in my the way that the story plays out for me and how i understand it with that is that becoming a werewolf is turning your turning yourself into and then sharing the soul of a wolf and like when you stop being a werewolf, you're basically taking the wolf spirit out of you and defeating it. So it's almost like a wolf possession, it, at least in Skyrim terms, because of when you like you cure yourself of your like your lycanthropy, mm -hmm. you're fighting your your wolf form to get rid of it. So along those lines theoretically once you died it would be i still think it would be a separation i i would think your wolf self would be claimed by hersing as a part of the hunt and your human side of the soul would still go to either you know nocturna well, or Sithis. like the way i mean the way i always saw it is that I mean, obviously you have the two halves, like the human and the wolf side, but the way I saw it was that un unless you do, like, that ritual to separate it, it's pretty much like a perfect link between the two. So, like, the souls are just merged together until the ritual is performed to separate the two. Still along those lines, I still think it would, you, you after you're, you're dead, one takes one and the other takes the other. Because... 
you no longer have the corporeal body keeping you together, so obviously the ritual with is I'm gonna get some high graven heads. You know, it's still like thing, so it's like to say Hersing and you know Boethia and or not Boethia, um, Nocturna and, and or Sithis do not have the ability to separate parts nah, of a soul so, so, so or destroy strong. a soul. Then you know. You you're right. Souls are strong, but we're, we're talking about primordial deities here. <laughs> Fight me. They will. That's <laughs> what's gonna happen with Hersing. Like you're gonna be a part of the hunt. Like that. <laughs> you you fight them. Um. That that's that. Um. Fights happening. All of a sudden, Mayus Moore decides to pop in. It's like, hey. See. <laughs> th- this, and then this was where like things get really complicated because now it introduces how you view the soul in Skyrim if it's one thing or just a multiple facet thing because Hermaeus wants knowledge so he would just take everything you've learned up to that point that he didn't have already. And then, you know, like with Hersing, he would just take the animalistic part of you because that's all he cares about. And then you have, like, the servant's part, which would, you know, whatever, I guess, entity of that. So I'm thinking more Sithis would be more of the, you know, killer instinct, the, you know, ruthlessness, whatever, at, to serve Sithis as a killer. And then you have Nocturna, who's really just kind of a, you do what you damn well please as long as no one takes from me here. That's why I don't think she would have very strong claim to things, because you can still fulfill your role after you die, still serving the other ones, still being claimed by the other ones. Is why, like, she's kind of like, meh. Now... Akatosh, on the other hand, decided he was like, no, that's mine for sure, for sure. He wins it only because he's, like, the most powerful. Yeah, like, he's literally the dragon god of time. Um, so, he he's, yeah, he, he's the god of time. He just happens to take the form of a dragon, for whatever reasons. It's dragons weird. are cool. Well, yeah, dragons are cool, but they're also assholes. And apparently they were born that way, because of Akatosh. Being the agrit, he's Zeus. <laughs> Damn type of boy. He's, he's basically he's basically just Dragon Zeus. And because you can't tell me that there's not weird, because that's essentially what the dragon priests were were just like human dragon hybrids. Because <laughs> they yeah. got all they got all the power. Or whatever. Like, that, yeah, that was weird. God, dragon priests were such a pain to play in that game. Yeah, was that? Um, now, the real question that we don't have the answer to, but that this is, this is the real one that just came to mind. Who is the influence that causes the Draugr to exist? Draugr. So, like, literally every Nord zombie. Like, because it's something that's forcing them to exist that way. And I want to know who. Because if they decided they wanted to fuck around and find out, your ass is a zombie. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, one thought is that it's just Nordic runes that are bringing them back to life if there's an intruder in the burial mound. Which is a possibility. Which would, yeah, that, but that only ex- explains the awakened ones, the ones that pop out of their coffins. That doesn't yeah. explain the ones that are already walking the fuck around. And just out and about. Yeah, it's like, I don't, I can't think of any Daedric princes that deal with the undead. Well, I mean, besides the vampire one, but I don't really think that is in this scenario. I'm gonna say it's Merida, and she's just fucking everything up. <laughs> she's like, plot twist: she actually likes the undead, but it's the versions 
So the fact that someone else was doing it was why she didn't like it. She was like, these are my toys. You can't play with them. And that's why she sends us to go and get them. Yeah. That was the... So... So, yeah, that... So, yeah, put put your, your thoughts, your comments. Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? Uh, do you have your own ideas? Whatever that may be, let us know. The... Ins no, don't have the Instagram up. Uh, I'll put yeah, I'll put it in. So my Instagram will be in the description. Uh, the Reddit, uh, uh, community name will be in the description. So you have two means to put in your information and whatnot. I think you can put them in the comments on on Spotify. I'm not sure. I don't know how I would see those, but that's something I worry about. It. So use the first two as the primary means of contact uh we don't have a podcast email i i'm not going to make one just dm me on the on my uh instagram under dragons fury 93 or on the reddit uh the dragons den show uh so it's h o w not like my name was this s h o h um so the the real show not the dragon show and yeah see tell us tell us what you think uh so let's see, what do we do we have on the pipeline? Let's see here. So this is episode five. This goes live Friday. Um, so we would be moving into President's Day. Yeah. So this would go live on the 17th. And so we would have the funness of the president's day holiday three weekend at least for me i don't have to worry about going in um <coughs> yeah, no. lucky you uh no not lucky me it just means that I, I don't have time off elsewhere because they're just like oh we're gonna do it here instead of there um yeah nothing nothing big we'll just we'll have episode six rolling out around the same time looking to the future future uh in march future. will be when the vod is available in the library and i mean the library as in i will figure out where i'm actually going to put it i want it to be for us uh, our subscribers our our fan fans uh to access that we will be at uh, megacon in florida so we'll be making our travel plans for that so we won't have an episode the following i don't know we might work it out and get an episode so there will be an episode that goes live while we're out there but there won't be a recording of one like we usually do that weekend for the following week so there might be a gap there but we'll worry about that when we get there because someone or everyone will probably be dead. Uh, all of, we we're always we're we're going to be dead. Most likely, we will be dead. Uh, if we are not dead, we didn't do it right. So, <laughs> but, so vods will be out. Uh, we are getting our views up. It's slow, but they're coming. So we're gonna need you to share the fun with all of our beautiful future fan. Um, if there's a specific podcast uh, platform that you would like the show to exist on, let us know. Right now, it's on Anchor and Spotify, but I do have means, I do have the links for Apple, Google, Amazon Music, iHeart, all those fun things, but I won't add, I won't put those out unless we know for sure we're going to have people there. So right now it's in here on Spotify. Spread the word, spread the links, let them know. Uh, and we of course, have... if you have any questions for yourselves, uh, drop, drop them uh, your questions, and they may or may not get answered here. Uh, may or may not. No, definitely will. Uh, that's that's all I have to do. Okay, well, you in said. my in my spare time. So please, please talk to us. We want this to be <laughs> open for the people. This is why I have so many people on various people. So. Uh, 
we do have the Discord open for our our fans. So it, when he that, is a very social creature. Uh, I it is bad for me to be left alone for too long. So <laughs> to avoid that trouble inducing whatever, yeah. So check out the Dragons and uh, Discord. Uh, if you are a fan, we are still trying to figure out what we're going to call our fans. We haven't figured it out yet. So we still need that. The poll is still up. So check out the poll. Please put in your your thoughts of what you would like yourselves to be called. And now we're just rambling. So we're going to end it. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> until next time, we'll talk to you then. See you next time.